Welcome back to another episode of Saturday Afternoon Gaming. I'm your host, Gaming J, and today we're hopping into another Neo Geo CD game. I think this is like the second time I've ever played a Neo Geo CD game in my life. It is Street Slam, also known as Street Hoop in Europe, and Dunk Dream in Japan, which is actually the title I prefer, Dunk Dream. Sounds like a guy having a really awesome dream about basketball. This is a three-on-three basketball game in the vein of NBA Jam. Um, and like uh, like all Neo Geo games, there is an insane load time. Uh, the Neo Geo, the Commodore 64, and the Amiga are the systems that I have known that have the most insane load time. Somebody should race those systems somehow. Find like a comparable game on each and see how long they take. I, I'm curious... Who loads games faster? Of course, the Neo Geo CD is far more advanced and awesome. Um, so here it is. Uh, Street Street Slam. Let's go ahead and check out how to play. So you can move around. I like how it's showing you that, just in case you don't understand the concept of a joystick. You can pass the ball, and you can shoot the ball. That's uh, pretty much it. I think there is a way... Oh, wait, what was that? Holding... Holding shoot and moving allows you to do like a dunk. All right. And we can steal balls from the opponent. And that's it. You're on your own, you animal. I think there's a way to do like power moves and stuff like an NBA Jam. But this game only has two buttons. So how hard can it really be? Um, we have easy, normal, hard, and MVS, which I don't even know what that means. Let's start on easy... I like a two-minute play time. That will give us a chance to try a couple of games here. So that looks good to me, sir. We can play different teams internationally. So you can be the Japanese team, the Korean team. I like how literally as you change teams, the guys are changing their haircut and clothes. But I'm pretty sure those are the same guys. <laughs> how about how about Britain, England? Does England have a good basketball team? Or actually, China has great three-pointing shots. I'm gonna be I'm gonna go for China. Uh, I like doing the three-point strategy in NBA Jam. That's how you get ahead. So uh, off we go. And okay, I'm the guys in the red, and I have lo lost a point already. All right, pass it to me, bro. Um, now this is kind of interesting because I am used to like uh, the the three players alley oop. Oh yeah, three pointer right off the bat. I'm used to kind of the two-player mode of NBA Jam, where it's just like uh, you know. It's almost one-on-one. -on -one. Um, damn, we're we're doing great here. We're doing great. Uh, so it, it's kind of interesting to have like a third player on the uh, on the court somewhere because like you don't see all your players at once. So when you pass to a guy off screen, you just have to trust that he's in like a good position. But uh, oh, we missed. Come on, give me the ball. Um, I like the I like the music, by the way. I think it's uh, like Japanese folk rock that we're listening to right now. Oh, they have caught up. Those jerks. Like, like, what, what, what is, what is being sung in the background? Like, do you, you hear that? It's, it's very random, random music. It's like lounge music or something. Oh, oh we stole the ball. Um, and the, oh man, that went so fast. I wasn't even paying attention. I thought we at least had a few more seconds. I like how there's also casual observers just watching us play. What? I have to insert a quarter? You have to... What? Continue? But I didn't lose, did I? It was a tie. Push the A button during the dunk shot to fake a dunk. Oh, wow. This, this is tricky. All right, my guys are strategizing. Let's go for a dunk this time around. I totally want to see a, a dunk in action. Whoa! Yeah! Slam dunk it! Jumped off the rim. We also have a girl in, on rollerblades who is uh, refing the match. She's off screen right now, but there she is. Or refing or watching. I don't even know. She might not be affiliated. 
uh, with what's going on. She's waving to us though, which is kind of distracting. I wish she wouldn't do that. Wave to my guys after they've won, lady. Yeah, 11-8. She's just cheering for both teams indiscriminately. We can't trust uh, a fan like that. Oh yeah, we got the ball. From downtown! Oh wait, I guess you can't shoot from this far? Okay, whatever. I wanted to shoot from the half court just to see what would happen. Boom, we're slaughtering them. It's almost not even fair. It's almost not even fair. And we have the Japanese folk guy in the background <laughs> singing his tunes. Look, there's a big fat guy over here with the funky mustache. See him? He's like right up there. Oh, they stole the ball. Um, I, I love the graphics of this game. This game is uh, this game is getting me on graphics alone. But, uh, you know, going back to the rollerblade girl for a minute, um, are, are rollerblades still a thing? I feel like I have not seen somebody rollerblade in... Oh my god, I did a Super Samus Metroid! Holy crap, I didn't even know that was a thing. How did I do that? I don't know. I guess I charged my Super Shot meter or something. Oh my god, it's not even fair. It's not even fair. These guys, they can't catch a break. Here, I'll do it again. Oh no. Nope, nope, no! Oh, bullshit, man! How dare they score on me? Huh! Fire! <laughs> what? I think I hit the ball right in the guy's face. Oh, we get a kiss from the rollerblade girl! She was a fan, after all. How about that? Um, anyway. Yeah, have you seen anyone on a, on a rollerblade in the last, like, ten years? I certainly have not. And in fact, I even went to... Uh, it was some like fast food restaurant or something uh, recently. I ended up sending a picture to like a couple friends because on the front door it said something like no rollerblades allowed. And I was just sort of thinking like, is that even necessary anymore? You could just like get rid of that and take it off because I don't think you're going to have too many rollerblade, uh, rollerblade customers showing up. And if you do, I would have more questions for them than anything. I would welcome someone on rollerblades into my fast food establishment if I were a manager because I would just have so many questions. I'd be like, but but why? That is my primary question. You know, what, what is going on? Oh my god, we're losing. China is losing to Korea. Is that significant? Does, does China and Korea, do they have like beefs or something like that? I don't even know. Oh, but we caught up. The three points are saving me, man. The three points are saving me. I feel like... The three-point strategy, how do you beat it? Like, how do you beat it in NBA Jam? I don't even remember. Uh, when we played NBA Jam, we, uh, I think we took a, a character, uh, like one of the few white guys who had, like, terrible stats or something, and he might have actually had good three-point stats, and that's the only reason we picked him. Oh, my God, the guy phased through reality. Uh, can we call a timeout? That was an impressive shot, but I more want to know, like, what metaphysical rules he has figured out you can break... Okay, boom, alley-oop. The three-pointers are just barely keeping us alive. Just barely. Oh, we got the ball at the end of the first round. We won by one. There's kids on a swing in the background. That's great. I love how the audience seems only like half interested in what's going on. Like literally a guy phased in and out of existence and they're just sort of like, me. Oh, you can like pass while you're jumping. Wow. So the farther you get in this game, the more, like, moves they tell you about. Whoa! Oh, I was trying to do a dunk shot, but I'll take that, too. I want, I want, a, I want a power shot here. Give me the, give me the, hey, they're singing about the game. If you want to win three on three, you got to answer the call. Oh, I don't have any more power shot built up. Wait, what happened? Were we fighting Korea? Did we, did we, like, change? Oh! Oh man, I can't believe that. I don't even know what's going on. Things are happening too fast. But we were fighting Korea previously, and now we've like changed. Or, no, we're in the same arena. There's the kids on the, the jumper. I don't know what happened. Uh oh, we're losing. We're losing. China can't go down like this. We have too much national pride. Oh no. Oh, he kicked me in the face while he was doing a, a slam dunk. Get out of the way. Boom. I like knocking their, their players on the ground. Very satisfying. Uh-oh, 28 seconds left. We need to get that ball. No, this is a setback. Okay, one three-pointer is all we need. And then we have tied it up. What happens if it's tied at the buzzer? There's 10 seconds left. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. No, no, no. Don't let him. Don't let him score. Not the face to reality. No. You idiots. Oh, he took a bow. There's zero seconds left. A random dog is on the court. 
They they won the respect of a dog. And we lost. We lost bad. All right, that's the end of China. We're going to switch it up here. We're going to switch to, I don't know, Britain. I, I was originally thinking it would be kind of interesting to see, like, a British team play. Um, Jay. Uh, wait, the other way around. Because, uh, like, do they even have basketball in England? I feel like in America they have basketball. In Canada they have basketball because, uh, surprise, surprise, we Canucks invented the game. We invented the game, and then we basically gave it to the rest of the world because we're like, we already have hockey, and that's pretty awesome. Uh, you guys can have basketball. We'll st we're still going to play it and be pretty good at it, but uh, you guys can have it. Remember Toronto? Didn't Toronto win all the basketball things a while back? I'm not a huge basketball guy. I'm like, didn't Toronto do something pretty important? They beat San Francisco or something in like five games. It was pretty, uh, people were going nuts about it. It was uh, something to do with the NBA. And Toronto won, so there you go. So we Canucks, we can hold our own. Maybe there's a Canadian team. There's not. Uh, the closest team to a Canadian team would probably be the British team. Canada is like if England and America had a kid. England has some pretty good dunk ability. You know what? Let's be English. Let's be British. We're going to be British gentlemen. Britain versus Taiwan. There's an awful lot of uh, East Asian teams in this. I wonder if that's because this game started in Japan or if there really are a lot of East Asian basketball teams. I, I have no idea, to be honest. There could be. All right, we got to take advantage of the dunks. Okay, that was not a dunk, but whatever. Um, so to dunk, you just sort of like hold the button. Um, oh, God. Get out of here with your three-pointers. I, I want the option to body check. I want somebody to make a basketball game that's like all about aggression and where there like are no rules. The only rule is not to get caught. Come on. Ah. Man, they are missing a hell of a lot. Oh my god, look at this. Get the ball off him. You fool. There's, I think there's a guy in a Uncle Sam stilts. Jump. No, that's... Uh, <laughs> I caught it out of the corner of my eye. I thought it was a guy in like an Uncle Sam suit on stilts, but it's like literally a mustachioed announcer, dude. Boom! I want to get that power. Oh, look, he's raging. He's raging. I want to get that power dunk, but I feel like that's not going to happen. Oh, come on, steal the ball. Steal the ball. Ten seconds left. Okay, we need a three-pointer. We have eight, six, five, four, three, two. Oh, we tied it up! I can't believe that happened. I think we still have to insert a quarter because it doesn't count. Yeah, ties are not friendly in this game. But whatever, we're not behind. I will take it. Push the A button during a dunk to fake a dunk. You're like, I was going to dunk the ball, but instead I will give it to you. That's a, one way to really mess with the other team. Oh, you jerk. You jerk. Oh, but I took it back. Hey, oh, slam, slam, tastic! I will take a bow for that. The mustachioed announcer guy in the do rag with the handlebar mustache is, is just you know, I guess he's like dictating our play-by-play. -play. He's like, and the Brits have stolen the ball from Taiwan. Taiwan takes it back with a dunk. Here comes the receiving. You jerks! Man, Taiwan is actually kind of annoying with their. They, they're good at stealing the ball. And my strategy is fairly obvious. I just run directly towards the net. Um, oh, there you go. I guess even England is good at the three-pointers or something. Come on. Yes. Okay, we got it. All right, pass to you. Pass to you. Oh, there we go. Yes. I was trying to do a dunk. Sometimes they do dunk. Sometimes they don't. I don't know what's going on there. Oh, get out of here. Uh, I want to move where I can bounce the basketball off an opposing team member's face and then score as they are humiliated. Oh, we have our power move. 30 seconds left, and we have a power move. Come on, get the ball, get the ball. Okay, whatever, 23 seconds left. Here comes the super shot. We're giving it to Blondie. Blondie has got this! Damn! So I guess it's just like a freebie or something. I don't, I don't know, like... It'd be kind of interesting if the players had hit points or something. And uh, when you did super moves like that... Oh my god, he knocked my dunk out of the air. Oh my god, his is on fire! What? A jam three-pointer? That is totally an NBA Jam reference slash ripoff. Overtime. Um, and you gotta insert quarters for that. 
Of course, they're not gonna give you a free match. Tying is not victory. If you don't come in first, you come in last. Even if the other guy also came in first. Um, but yeah. It'd be cool if these guys had like hit points and you could like, you know, punch each other and like damage each other and so on. Cause I feel like those super moves where you're like flying up into the sky and exploding the net and everyone is getting knocked down. It's cool, but it kind of has no con, it, like it doesn't matter. Doesn't really have any consequence, so it'd be neat if it actually did something. Huh. 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 I'm trying to block him. I'm trying to block him. No. Oh, I got the ball. It actually worked. Yes. No one can defeat England. Especially not Taiwan. Go back to Taiwan, wherever that is. Lots of stuff is made in Taiwan, I think. I think, like, made in Taiwan is, like, a common, uh... Not, like, a super common, but semi... Semi common thing. Oh, you jerks! You jerks! You know what's made in Taiwan? My tears, because they're catching up. This is bull, man. We got we got DJ Hip Hop in the background too. Twenty nine points to twenty five, and we got his power shot ready. Come on, we got this. Look at the middle of the court. The next time I run across the court, it's DJ Power Shot, or no, DJ Power Shot. DJ Hip Hop. See, look there he is. Boom! It's on fire! If that missed, I would have said. So when you have a power shot, I guess it's like a guaranteed shot. So why would you do anything but a three-pointer? I don't understand why you would want to do two versus three-pointers in this game. It seems like you should just always do... Oh, you jerk! You jerk. You should just always do three-pointers. Oh, no! Oh, no! We have 0.9 seconds! Oh, I threw it, but a spotlight killed me! <laughs> I threw the ball at the buzzer, but it didn't even count. All right, well, that's the, the England couldn't even defeat Taiwan, so why would we keep playing as England? Um, we need, you know what? I think we need some German ingenuity here. We need to be like the tough, cruel Germans here and like bring a no-nonsense attitude because it turns out in the realm of international basketball, um... In the realm of international basketball, England is horrible. They suck. Germany is awesome for defense. Now, forget about that. Who else is good for three-pointers? That's what I want. The U.S. sucks at three-pointers. We're never going to play as them. Uh, Korea. I like Korea. They, they're really big into esports. They suck at defense. No, wait. Oh, Taiwan. Okay, we're going to become the team that defeated us. Oh, and we're fighting Germany. Great. I was just talking about how it'd be fun to be Germany. Now we get to be Taiwan. All right, we lost the ball already. I don't know what happened there. I think we got it and lost it instantly. But we're going for nothing. I want nothing but three pointers. The Taiwan team does not dunk. It is beneath them. You know what I always wondered in basketball? Is it possible to train yourself to be able to get shots from half court? Because here's the thing, like let's say that as a player, all you did, let's say you were an NBA player. Oh, damn it, we missed? I, I, that's not supposed to happen. Um, damn it. Let's say that you were an NBA player and you just trained yourself like day and night to like shoot from the middle of the court. Damn it. Man, Korea sucks. <laughs> or what are we, Taiwan, Korea? Whatever we are, we suck. Um, but imagine that, uh, imagine you trained yourself that way. That would almost seem to be the indefensible play. Because, like, a lot of the premise of basketball is once the other team has the ball, they will, shoot, run to the other side of the team, other side of the court and uh, take the shot. But if you've trained yourself to be able to get it from, from half court consistently, then it's, like, really hard for the other team to, uh, to actually, you know, block you, wouldn't it? I mean, I guess they'd always put one or two guys on you, but then that would leave near the, near the hoop, open and then you could just have other team members who are specialized at dunking and stuff so i don't know i mean I, I guess these kinds of strategies you know like long and short shooters must be built into uh basketball again i don't really follow basketball so i don't know but i'm certain it is but i just wonder like could there be like a basketball superstar who's really not good at anything except shooting from half court and he always gets it in because if so hire that man Ooh, alley-oop there we go. Nothing but three pointers. Oh man, this this song is so ridiculous. Three on three, three basketball. If you wanna join in, you gotta Congratulations! 
three on three basketball. You wanna you wanna join in? You gotta answer the call. It's like so 90s. In the 90s, they would develop rap songs about everything. Oh my god, we stole it and lost it. The Ger okay, the Germans are actually kind of intimidating. They're actually a little good. Who knew? Boom! But they just can't keep up. Like, my team sucks at defense. We're losing the ball constantly. We're kind of a bunch of jokers on the field, but we just have insane accuracy. That's how, that's how we train in Asia, man. It's all about precision. None of us, we all like sleep in the same house, eat, drink, and live basketball. Hey, we even have a super shot ready. All right, here, here comes the super shot. That's a freebie. Oh, we almost blew up the net. <laughs> Onlookers are completely unfazed. They're like, yeah, that guy summoned some kind of fireball to shoot his uh, shoot his basket, but whatever. Huh. Oh my god, that didn't go in? Okay. The, the three-pointer only kind of works, the strategy only works half the time. We're still winning, I think. Alright, as long as I get one more three-pointer, it's a lock. If I don't, we're in a lot of trouble. Oh god, we're in a lot of trouble. We're in a lot of trouble. Don't let him get a three-pointer! All right, all we have to do now is keep the ball away from him and we win by default. Default! Oh, you know what, I hate that you can't throw the ball at the buzzer because to be totally honest, it's kind of fun to throw it at the buzzer and just, just in the half court and see if it goes in. Pretty sure in NBA Jam you could do that. All right, we don't need any more training. We're fighting against England. Our old adversaries, what, loading? What? <laughs> Why does it need to load? Oh, okay. Oh look, we're like now like in an alley. No trespassing. What else does it say? Up here. Can't even say anarchy, homeboys, locals only. This this game is so 90s. I don't know why in the 90s everyone wanted to be a punk and to be like, you know, anarchy and and chaos and stuff like that, but people wanted that. Oh, you jerks. England. This, this, oh my god, this is like the rematch. The computer is now going to show me how it's done, because uh, as England, I lost to Taiwan, and the computer is probably going to win. Just embarrass me. Huh. Huh. I don't even know how to properly steal the ball. Oh my god, we got it, though. Boom! Oh, no, 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 no! Steal the ball back! Steal it back! Oh, we did! We did! Shoot it! Yes! All right, six to four. I know, I, I don't know basketball well, but I know that that's good. I can count. Come on. Oh, we got it again. England sucks. No wonder I lost to them. Oh, man. Don't let them get a point. Damn it. They tied it up with zero seconds. I think that's what happened to me when I played as England, actually. This is just like a total, a complete reversal mirror match. So here, here's a, a fascinating thought. If this game had time travel... And when I played as England, I was actually playing against myself as Taiwan. Whoa, mind blown. Um, you know what? If they ever invent time travel, somebody's going to do that. Somebody's going to be like, the cool thing about time travel is you can play video games against yourself. You can uh, play now and then play again in the future. I guess the trick would be, like, how do you prevent a time paradox from occurring? Because if you played against a future self, you would know how that round turned out. Then when you are the future self, you try and play differently. But if things are deterministic and there's no such thing as free will and we all are just mechanical clocks, then I guess uh, the match would always turn out the way it turned out no matter what you tried. And so maybe we'd get awesome science fiction video games where you could play against a future self, but you would also be depressed by the thought that uh, you have no true free will. So it'd be a great and terrible day if that ever if that ever came to pass. There you go. They should make a black mirror about that, you know? It's a per perfect subject matter. I just wrote a black mirror. Go make it. Go film it. Oh, yeah. We stole the ball. Oh, my God. Steal it again. You did it once. Do it again. No. I'm sensing a time paradox right now. I remember how this turns out. Um, actually, Taiwan wins, if I'm remembering correctly. All right. Oh, you jerk. Oh my god. Okay, so it turns out that when I am in control- Hey, look, doves show up. When I am in control of Taiwan, they suck. Um, let's- let's pop on one more team, but I think it's time to sort of wrap up here. Look at the guy rat rattling the chains in the top right. <laughs> He's like, let me into the field, man! 
It's me, Johnny! Okay, we're not even gonna, like, put our name, because I think we did so horribly. Game over. You suck. Uh, we do not want to save our data. I've not been saving the data, because I feel like I'm never gonna... This is like a one, a one and done kind of thing. I'm probably never gonna play this game again, but it's still interesting to play. Let's try... Let's try MVS and see what happens. And you can, like, up the time significantly, right? So let's just keep it at two minutes. MVS. We need a good team, though. Um, you know what? Let's let's do America. Why not? Change our haircuts. Change our clothes. Oh, look! It's even a championship Data East match. All right, so this is the last round for us. Oh, shoot. I meant to... I didn't even know I was the, those players. All right. There we go. All right. I, I didn't know what team I was. Ooh, there we go. So uh, I'll start wrapping up as we play this sort of last round here. Street Slam here, also known as Street Hoop. And uh, more awesomely than that, Dunk Dream uh, is a game on the Neo Geo CD. I'm curious if any of you guys had this game back in the day. Like if, if you played Dunk Dream, you knew of Dunk Dream. Uh, if you played this in the arcades, I I certainly must have seen this back in the day, but like it probably would have seemed like a no-name game to me back then. Like I never played it. NBA Jam was a basketball game I knew and played a lot. Um, and I played it more at home. Like I played it on, uh, you know, like Super Nintendo and stuff like that. Boom, you can't stop an American dunk, man. We, we, we live the dunk dream. Oh yeah. Ah, dunk it! All right, we're winning. This is on the hardest difficulty, I forgot. So that's kind of impressive, I think. Whoa! Slam it! I should have done a three-pointer for that, but uh, America's all about the dunks. Uh, we love dunking. Oh, yeah, we got the ball again. Just shoot it. <laughs> all right, we won the first half. I'm shocked. I thought when we turned the difficulty up, it would be way harder. It doesn't seem any different. It doesn't seem any different. Also, it's America versus China. That's like Clash of the Titans. So let's see. Can we can we actually pull this together and win? Oh, my God. We stole the ball again. Turns out China sucks at holding on to the ball. America's just too good at thieving it. We're good at stealing. Huh. Yeah, you throw that ball because you know what happens. If you hold on to a ball for more than... Uh, 10 seconds. The American team's totally gonna take it off of you. Oh, you dick! Come here. You jerks. Oh my god, they, they're they catching up. Catching up slash almost winning. hey -o! I think I need him in the face right there. To take my bow. Alright. Yeah, Saka! That works every time! 60% of the time, it works every time! Okay, we're so close to another super shot. Oh yeah. Get out of here. Okay, they have like a rhythm. If they pass it to the guy in the center, he always takes a shot from the three-point line. I just need to remember that. Oh, God. No! Oh, they've tied it up. And they have a super shot ready. Nonsense. hey -o! Boom! All right, super shot on super shot. I'm going to try for a three-pointer super shot if I can get it this time. Oh, God. Okay, there go. get their super shot out of the way. We have 35 seconds left. We have to be strategic about this. I kind of want to waste the time. But whatever, I'm just going to take my super shot. Kaboom! So there's 28 seconds left. I'm like trying to, to time it so that like by the time the, the round ends, they don't have enough time to take a shot. All right, it's tied up. hey -oh, Boom! 11 seconds left. Oh, God, can we block them? Can we block them? No, 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 oh, no, no, three-pointer, oh, my God, three seconds left, hey -oh! oh, my God, we won, oh, my God, oh, that's how you win at Street Slam, there is no getting better than that, oh, my God, um, and then we fight the Germans, but we're not, we're not, we don't need to see another round. That was like the best round we could ever have asked for in Street Slam. All right, guys. Well, this has been Street Slam on the Neo Geo CD. How about that for an ending, eh? 
There, there's literally nothing better. I hope you guys have had fun. Did you play Street Slam growing up? Do you have fond memories of it? Did you play it in the arcade? Did you own a Neo Geo CD? Whatever the case may be, share your memories, thoughts, comments, and opinions in the comment section down below. And as always, I look forward to seeing you guys soon with a new video and a new game. So I hope you had fun today, and uh, catch you later. All right, guys. Peace. Hey oh my god, we won! Oh my god! Oh.